Hi everybody, it's Diana with StampingWithDye.com. I'm so excited, it's May the 2nd, and this is my Teach Me Tuesdays episode 175, and it's actually going to be a catalog flip through. Yes, I can show you the catalog now. Um, so hopefully, if you were expecting a catalog from me, you've You've had it by now, you have looked through it, and um, you have made your shopping list because May the 2nd, today, you can start ordering out of it. So um, I'm so excited because I know my list is really big, and um, yeah, I'm just so excited. <laughs> it's like I know we have the pre-order as demonstrators, we um, have a special pre-order list. It wasn't like the whole catalog, <clears throat> but um, it was still enough to, to get our toes wet, right? And get excited. And we were able to get all the, the new colors, the new returning colors. So I've been having fun with those, playing with those on some of my videos. You've seen me um, yesterday. I, I played with some of the new colors. So I'm excited for that. So make sure if you have any questions at all, you holler at me. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Diana and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm in Santan Valley, Arizona. And I am so glad that you're joining me today. So I will be um, watching with you live off in the, on the chat. So if you have any questions at all, make sure you ask. And I'm just going to go through the catalog, make observations, maybe things that you missed, um, maybe things I missed, give you um, my opinions, <laughs> is my two cents or whatever worth of my opinions. But um, so yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. Um, so I, I look forward to, um, to chatting with you. If you have any questions at all, make sure you ask them in there. I know you do have to be logged into your Google account in order to um, leave a comment, like leave a, leave um, to talk in the chat. You don't have to have a YouTube channel. It's just like an account, right? A Google account. And if you are watching a replay, then please leave a comment below and YouTube will let me know. And then I can answer you if you have a question. Okay, so let's get started. Close your eyes for a second and get adjusted. All right, so I am going to raise my camera up a little bit more than I normally do. I don't want you seeing my lounge pants, but it might give us a better view of the catalog. All right, so let's see. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so let's get started. All right, obviously I've showed you the catalog a few times and you can tell this is my desk copy because I wrote it in big letters. So it's all there to look at. So hopefully there won't be too much of a um, glare. I'll try to watch on uh, my camera or the, my computer at the same time so I can hopefully, you know, make it not have that, that glare or whatever. So I love how the family is growing over the years and the table of contents all right let's see here so we have jump right in and then it just talks about how to contact how you can um you know reach we've, we've got like a pinterest board there's like all sorts of things and i'm on pinterest too i have a pinterest as well um i don't um i probably don't use it like i should but um all right and it just talks about this so we don't have to go through all of that we want to get to the fun stuff all right so I'm gonna scoot hang on a second I'm gonna scoot down just a little bit sorry I'm just trying to get I don't want it to have too much space all right there we go okay I should have done that ahead of time. All right. Now it's going to be all tight. So when I go to say bye at the end, I'll probably just whip it right off the desk. All right. So we've had a reversibles for a while. So this kind of just explains the different kind of stamps that we have, like the distinctive we've had a while, two-step stamping we've had forever. And reversibles are basically you, um, especially the photopolymer, because they stick, you know, they're sticky on each side. And you just flip it over. So then you have like the shape. You know that you can do the two-step stamping with the same stamp 
So that's kind of cool. So I just kind of explains that. Um, it talks about our color refresh, and I know I have talked about that quite a bit. So I'm so excited about that. Um, we've got returning and new, um, new in colors. Talks about the the um, I keep I'll forever call it the big shot. I'm I know I will, but the cut and emboss machine. So it just it goes through all that we have the kits so i have used the kit several times so there's paper pumpkin which is a monthly kit you can subscribe and then it just automatically comes um what's nice about the um paper pumpkin is you can um sub do like subscription plans so you can get like um hostess benefits that way so let's say um you do like a six month paper pumpkin subscri subscription and it's 127 and then say you add you know like $30 and whatever whatever and that would get you over the 150 and then you would be getting hostess benefits so that's kind of cool um, way to do it you've also seen me do the kits and these are um, we're, we're usually getting one about every month but what's nice about these is you know what you're getting where this is like a surprise we usually have you know a little um, sneak peek kind of thing but you really don't know what you're going to get whereas this one you know exactly like this is that awesome wreath that i did before um this is a new new one that just came out and i did this one a while ago too so that's um they're they're all kind of set up the same way but they're you order them differently all right so let's get to the fun part all right so we still have sweets collections um, if you like everything in the suite, there's one item number. So it just saves you when you're shopping, right? And um, you save 10% when, you know, because you have bundled it. So that hasn't changed. And you just want to keep in mind that when um, the catalog leaves, then things aren't bundled anymore. You only see them bundled when they're first initially introduced. Um, so just keep that in mind too. I know that's a lot to remind you about the very first day, but, um, you know, just don't forget about that. Okay. So we have the beautiful balloons. Now green just means I got it. Green means got only cause my yellow marker is dried up. So I changed to green. <laughs> it's easier to see anyway. But, um, so I have showed you this DSP. So this is really a fun little, um, balloon set. They've got some really cute samples there to show you. The DSP is really fun. We've got the new carousel horses. So that's kind of neat. Jeff and I were carnies, so that's kind of almost like a fair, right? And then circle sayings. Now this is the one that I used yesterday for my Mimeograph Monday. And now you can see there's the card that I did. And it's right here. There it is. So that's kind of fun, right? All right, so that was um, yesterday. So now I'll be able to um, show you this stuff. But there's the punch and the cupcake. This is cool too, right? There's so much stuff to do with the C. All right, so charming sentiments that carried over. But what's nice is um, now we have all new samples. So even though some things are carrying over, now we have new things to um, case. So Lazy Days is a new bundle and it is super cute and I have showed this because this is one of the pre-orders and it's just got a rocking chair and a really fun mat and the die that makes like look at this really fun porch and it's even got ivy it's just a really um, cute little bundle there we also have an exposed brick 3d embossing folder so we the mortar um, one retired but now we have one that has brick and you know it's um, pretty cool it's like a more of a rugged brick so sweetest cherries this carried over but look at now like look at how cool that is how they did that that looks so fun so I have already been like thinking of um, cards that I'm going to be casing for my mimeograph Monday with a twist so this is another fun one seasonal branches cute little bird and then they show you tips and tricks so here they're using the blending brush to color on the um, ribbon so that the ribbon 
is going to match their card. So that's pretty cool. Some things you might not think about. If you do that, just give it time to dry so you're not getting the, like your fingers dirty and then touching your card. Dandy Delight carried over. And if you wanna know what's new, there's like a little N and then you know that that's a new um, stamp set. So this is Hope You Know, so that's pretty neat. I like that it has um, a variety of fonts. And when they do that, it also helps you know which inside and outside greeting go together. It does not mean you can't mix and mingle them, but um, it just kind of helps you. So you know, like, see this one right here is that kind of that typing look. So thinking of you today, so you know this goes with it. And the day after that, and the day after that. See, because it's the same font, so it just kind of helps, you know. It just kind of helps you know, like, well, what was initially intended for that. So we have Handmade Hug, which has got a new um, new punch, which is really cool. I love all of this little, um, this bouquet of flowers. I love that. And that goes with the Dainty Delight. So that's cute. Gift card, the scalloped gift card box comes with a removable insert to prominently display gift cards and other similar items. Now we were told the scallop gift boxes, when the catalog, <coughs> excuse me, goes live, those aren't available yet. Excuse me, we've had a drink of water. They were not up to Stampin' Up! standards. And I love that Stampin' Up! is as picky as me. So as soon as those um, come in and are corrected, then we'll be able to order them. All right, so Nature's Prince is carried over. Lighting the way, I had fun with that last month. So we still have that color and contour. We still have that. But look how cute this card is. I might have to make that because that is super cool. That's really neat. All right, sending smiles. So I'm glad we kept that. Look how cute this card is. Oh my gosh. I might have to um, do more than one day where I case the catalog. Look how cute this is with the metallic enamel effects basics. You can see they've got like a coppery kind of center there. That's cool. Pansy patch. I don't, I think I've only stamped with it. I don't think I've, um, off the top of my head, I don't remember if I actually made a flower with it. Super cool. It's a super cool set. Look how neat that is. Is that not really kind of, um, it's kind of vintagey looking, like dinery. So that's cool. It's got pop and this roll thing, pretzels, pie. This is really cool set makes me hungry and then so refreshing so we have a um lemonade set so that's really really fun lemons are like like i think they're always popular but there's just certain times that you just all of a sudden you see a bunch of lemon stuff and i think that's happening again um but it's cool because look at it. it's got this really neat um like if you're on a picnic or whatever it has like that little um blanket with the little fringe that's so cool or here it looks like they have it on a table but I'm thinking it would be cool like a picnic kind of thing so that's really neat with the lemonade and the glasses or you could have it even be iced tea sweet tea I'm always making sweet tea I put too much sugar in it which is not good all right so we have the Le Shops sweet collection and again so that one number will give you includes one of each item listed below so you would get you know all of these items and it's got some cute DSP look at this DSP with these little shops and stuff I just love that I love when we get um, DSP that can stand alone right like you really don't even need the stamp set necessarily because the um, DSP is just so beautiful on its own that you could just cut that out and have fun with it. All right, so here is the Let's Go Shopping bundle. So it's got some cool things in there. The little um, thing that goes over the window, some of the buildings, super cute. 
So till I get my stuff, I can't um, show you as good as when I get this stuff, but I, I um, hopefully I'll get my order quick and then I'll be able to do an unboxing. All right, so sweet citrus, that carried over, but we've got some really fun, more samples going on here. I love that. Um, good feelings carried over, but again, look at how cute. Like this looks like totally different. This is the one I did, that rainbow. And it just, it just looks totally different. All right, so something fancy carried over and two-tone flora as well. These were in um, the mini catalog, I believe, that just ended. And look how cool this is. So it just talks about that big dye and what you can do with it. Where you, uh, it looks like it's just on frosted paper. It is. Very neat. All right. So Sentimental Park. That carried over. Same with Best Family Ever, which is so exciting because it has mom and mom in it. And I love that. Petal Park, again, it carried over. So some more fun samples that I'm going to be making. I like this one with those tag things there. That looks pretty cool. It's simple, super easy. Let me make sure you can see that better. That's cool. I guess I haven't been paying attention. I hope I haven't had too much um, brightness. All right, so I'll hold it up like this. So, um, so you can see I have all this, all these pages. But um, so I'm glad the apples carried over. Now I wish we'd have kept the dye because I swear that this right here really looks like they used the dye because it's cut out really, really good. But, um, but we don't make the dye, so it's a little hard um, when we don't make things that, um, let me move the light a little bit, see if that helps. When we don't make things, I don't want to be too dark. <sighs> Maybe that's better. Is that better? Um, when we don't make things, it's a little hard for us to be um, in charge, so to speak. So with the dye, we can't get the dyes anymore. We're just kind of like up the creek, right? <laughs> All right, so there's that. So um, we had Season of Chic before, so you've got some more fun samples there. Wonderful Thoughts is a lot like that Charming Sentiments. So um, it's got a lot of um, really cool greetings with it. And then it has the dyes that cut them out. So it's really cool. I love this card right here. And this one, to me, almost reminds me of like an old door or an old um, dresser drawer or something. But it's really, really cool how they did that. And this looks like one of those scallop boxes that we're, we're just going to have to wait on a little bit. So Regal Reindeer carried over. Brightest Glow was in um, the holiday mini. So these two were in the holiday mini, so they carried over, so that's pretty cool. And they've got some really fun samples to make over here. I love that. And the deer. I don't even think I played with the deer. I don't even think I, I have this one, but I don't think I've played with this bird either. So now I'm kind of glad when they carry things over because then if I did miss out, I have like a whole other year to play. All right, so Ringed with Nature, Celebrate with Tags. We're in the mini as well. Some really cute little samples. So look how cute this is. So they like wrote on the box to make it look um they make it look like it's plaid, but they probably just used the blends. But doesn't that look cute on that box? And so easy too, because the blends pretty much dry on anything, like, you know, just because of the way they're made. All right, now you have seen me play with the Zany Zoo, and here it is in all its glory, and it has such cute samples. So here is, Remember I didn't know what that one die was? And it's a table. 
So she's got the little table beside her and a little um, flower because I was like, wasn't sure what it was. I thought it had to do with that um, camera, but it's a little table. So super cute. I have used this ribbon a few times already. So I'm excited for this. I will probably do Zany's to do as a class in the mail. Um, I'm going to make myself a note. Hold on, I need to post it because it's so cute. So always let me know what you think. All right, so I'm just gonna write class in the mail if you would be interested. All right, so I'm just gonna put this, lock this, so I know to come back to that page. Now, I'm definitely doing this as a class in the mail. Hey, Chuck. It, it makes me laugh so much. I wish we still had Hey Chick because now we have Hey Chuck. But I am definitely going to be doing this as a class in the mail. And it has an adorable little die. And it ha make, has the fence. Look at this card. I am so making this card. Like, like as soon as I get this stamp set. So this is definitely a class in the mail. And it will probably be right away because it is adorable. All right. No question mark for that one. All right. Bird's eye view. Look how cute. And it's got little glasses and stuff for the birds. And you know I'm going to be trying to put these glasses on other things in the catalog if I can. And this looks like a <coughs> monocle or whatever the, the, the one eye glass. But it could also be a balloon. But I think it's... I think that's what it's called, monocle, something like that. All right, so I, I what that's so mean to those birds. I just skimmed right over them and went over to these guys. But anyways, so Hey Chuck is very cute. He's got a skateboard. Looks like he's going swimming. He's got his little swim trunks on there. I mean, this one looks totally mad. <laughs> so it is adorable. Oh my gosh. So fun. It's got a really cute sun they've used back here. It even has like um, the north-south, whatever that is. So anyways, so look for that. Look for that. All right. In fact, I had somebody that's doing the, the Ready Rhino, and she already had the Ready Rhino. So she's like, get me Hey Chuck in place of it. And I'm like, I can do that. All right, so we have um, Easter Bunny carried over. And then um, I have a little punch in the back. So Happy Labels. This is such a fun set, too, because it has a really cute font. Silly Goose. I am so excited that it carried over. I know Barbara wants me to do it as a class. So let me mark this down again. So just let me know. I, would, I love when people... Um, email me and say would you please do you know whatever whatever for a class um, doesn't mean I can always do it but if I hear from you at least I might not have had something on my radar I might not have known that people were interested in a certain um, stamp set as a class till you let me know so please always reach out I will not be offended um, if you know for any reason all right so taco fiesta very cute carried over the new little monkey i had showed you that um because we could get that early and it has a fun little punch with the banana and stuff biggest wish like this whole page makes me happy because i want to make all of that and since i have all three sets it will be easy to do so but look how cute it's just so adorable and these avocados look cute enough to eat and then this right here that's that bowl they made a bowl out of hold on a minute I should have see I didn't really hardly look at this myself we're doing it at the same time um, back here there was a die and that's where that bowl came from because I just seen it a minute ago I'm like oh that's that bowl oh man oh here 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 see that over here this right here but um, the thing that goes over the window is this. So they use it as a bowl for the cheese and the nachos. 
So super, super yummy. All right, continue on please. Hello Kiwi. I never t tried Kiwi in my life till I met my husband. And then he was like, have you ever had a Kiwi? And I'm like, no. So here we are in the parking lot. When we were carnies, this is like TMI, too much information, but we were carnies on a break. We were in the parking lot in some town and he went in and bought some Kiwis and that was the first time I ever had a kiwi, kiwi and it was so good. And it's just such a, a weird looking fruit. But anyways, I thought that was funny. There's a little story to tell you. All right, so share a milkshake. I'm so glad that we have that because I just love it. I love the font and now I can be using it even longer. Um, phrases for all, but look at the cute samples that we have over here. Again, I want to make all of them and look how cute this is with all the black that is adorable and ooh, oh, I didn't even see this before all right so patchwork pieces die look at this die now it'll be in the back but look at what it does so it has this die and then you have these stitched pieces so that's where they've got these pieces here oh, oh my gosh I am so getting that and then there's this one Ooh, what is this one? Patchwork pieces dies. So that's probably part of it. So see, so they walk, the flip through of the catalog helps both of us. Because sometimes, see, they stick little things in this corner, right? And then you might not notice it. So this is, looks like that paper that we had before that was gold. And we, um, and it sold out so quickly. It was during celebration. So that looks like that paper. All right, so there we have um, friendship royalty with the tiara. We have little dreamers with some more little critters. My vote is out, like I haven't decided on that one yet, only because it's kind of more of a baby set. Um, and I don't mind critter sets, but I don't really have anyone having babies, so I probably won't won't get the little dreamers it's not like the chickens that's for sure all right so Helly, hello ladybug carried over but again look at the cute samples they have so if you have these already now you have more ideas and just look at these look so real they just really really pop off that page and like the little sweet songbirds our three-legged hedgehogs all right, so playing in the rain. Yay, yay, yay. So we still have playing in the rain. I wish we'd have kept that DSP. That always makes me question, why don't we carry the DSP over when it was so popular? But I have no idea. All right, everyday think this is super cute. Isn't that adorable? So this is like, um, that could be a police officer. It could be an ambulance person. This could be a crossing guard. It could be a, um, a swimming person, that lifeguard, doctor, teacher. I love this, a Band-Aid, again, a doctor. This even could be the nurse at school. So this is a really, really fun um, stamp set. I know we've always asked, well, could we get something that says you know, for the police officers, for, for whatever. And I think this, the way they've done it, it goes for even more people than you think, right? Because that, if they had just had a police car, then it would have just been police car. But this way, it's ambulance, it's police car, it's fire truck. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? Um, and same with that. Just because it's just the little symbol, but that symbol can go for so many different things. All right, so, and then we have our By My Side. I was so excited that we kept By My Side. And look how cute this little box is. Wait till you get to this DSP. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. All right, so Countryside Inn. I have shown um, this DSP before, as well as the stamp set and die, because I did um, get that in the pre-order. And it's so fun, all that blue color. Lasting Joy. It's got some fun fonts. It's really cute in the flower. We have a lot of flowers. I I will admit 
that we have a lot of flowers. But they're very popular. That's a thing, right? If, I mean, if they if they weren't popular, we wouldn't have them. But so we have textured floral. So this is new. It reminds me a lot of the one we just retired. Um, but it's got a really, really cool looking um, dye that I can't wait to play with. So, but look at those samples. And this right here, they just use the the um, Stampin' Right, make your own stripes. Love it, love it, it's so easy. All right, so Quiet Meadow carried over. We just have some really, really cool new um, samples to make. This is neat how they just scribbled and then did the um, butterfly, and now your butterfly has got a texture to it. So that was cool. Timeless arrangements, and so I like that we are, are continuing on with the with the stamp set and the die being the same name. Now, if something carried over, that might not be the case um, if it wasn't originally named that. So there may be a few that that don't do that. All right, so that's pretty cool. Darling details. I thought this looked fun. Just kind of, um, you know, this could be a cloud. I mean. It's just kind of neat. It's got some fun little fonts. It's got some cute dies. Look at these dies up here. So this is part of the die. So it's kind of lacy. I love that. But look at this one. Isn't that cool? That one's neat too. All right. So there's that one. Just my type, which is kind of neat. But you know me, I like to color. And I wish this was salt open line to color. <laughs> but look how cute that card is. So not everybody likes to sit and color for hours like me. All right. So it goes with the Elegant Edge Tag Topper Punch. Very cool. All righty. Earth and Elegance. So this is very um, earthy looking, you know, these colors. This is kind of neat right here. It looks like um, pottery. So that must be just the, the DSP. Now we couldn't get this DSP, so I don't have it to go, yes, it does this. But to me, it looks almost like um, ice cream melting. That's pretty cool. And then you've got your earthen textures for your plants. And some more really cool dyes down there. Courage and faith, hope and prayer, places in the heart. So that one carried over. Look how cool this card is. That really fun ribbon right there. I thought this one was cool looking. So time together. So you have um, an hourglass. So isn't that cool? You have the hourglass. The days of our lives. That's what makes me think of that TV show. But see, look what they've done here. So they made the hearts go tick tocking down in there. And then there's a new, looks like a new um, mask. Very fun. Country bouquet carried over. So that's cool. Because I know some of you weren't able to get the punch. So now um, the punch is in the catalog. So look how fun that is. Cool, cool, cool. Everlasting beauty. Some more flowers. That'll be a fun one to color for sure. And I like that, um, that writing. Here's to love. And it's another one with the people with their back to the camera. Kindest Expressions, that's a new one. I love the big writing and the big fonts. Love that. So see, here's that one colored. Isn't that look cool? Really, really cool. Let's go fishing. Now, with Jeff having a boat, uh, I think I'm gonna have to get this one because it's too cute. Even if my big fish got away, Probably this guy right here. Look, this is probably the one that took my bobber, worm, and my lure. The brat. 
All right, so this is very, very cute. And it even has like a tackle box. Look at that. That is really fun. The DSP looks super cute too. Look at that. Look at all these flies. Fishing pool, flies, fish, a net, water, more fish. That's some cool DSP. All right. So we've got a, a fun little uh, um, Italian pizza guy. He looks cute. It's a science. So this is very Sheldon, very um, Big Bang Theory. Kind of makes me think of that. It also makes me think of weird science movie. But this is super cute. They're, these are really fun sized and open line for coloring it is cute look at this one let's sell a braid super cute it's your birthday you can overreact i'm not even a chemistry or a science person and i'll probably get this one just because it is too cute all right so as well as asking for um firemen and and um uh, policemen and nurses and doctors and stuff like that we've also asked for um you know kind of like other um jobs so this is kind of cool too right so you've got the little construction guys so this is really fun and look at that little guy there so this would be really fun um if you had see how they did the birthday zone oh and look at this look at that See that dye on there? That looks cute. Very cute. So again, look at, I would want to make all of those and I would want to eat those. So this is cute. Cute, cute, cute. Oh, here's where this came from. See this right here? It's right along here. Adorable. Alrighty. Next page, please. Next destination. This is kind of kind of cool. Now it has all these lines. So what's neat about it is, see how they just stamped it in color and it still looks super cute. Or you can color it if you want, like they did here. So that's kind of neat if you like to travel. All right. Sweet and precious. Isn't that so cute? It reminds me a lot of the other one we had with the um koala bear and the raccoon so um they're they're very um similar he's all that carried over which is fun because it's got all these guy things and it's always hard i think to do guy cards it shouldn't be but but it, it is so here's this one so see now i don't believe they're drawn by the same artist see that they're a little bit different i wish they would say you know the artist name all right, Oceanfront carried over and Grassy Grove. So both of these carried over. And I love this card. Isn't that cool? And they just used this and stamped and wet it with the little spritzer. See that? You just spritz it. And what it will do is it'll like move that color around on the um, watercolor paper. Very cool. All righty next page so here's that paper i was talking about all right so reach for the stars stargazing sweet collection but look at this paper oh my gosh that is gorgeous i mean look at how beautiful it looks like on camera and you can just imagine what it's going to look like in real life so it's very cool and then you have um your astronaut and a rocket ship right there very cool so legendary ride we kept that so that's really neat on um, the ocean beside me some more um the backs of people and then we have those basics 3d embossing folders so right now they're an online but here they're in the catalog so that's kind of cool so you always want to um, go to my store um, and always look at menu and then pull up like the specials clearance rack online exclusives we have branded 
you know, branded kits or branded merchandise. And what that is, is it's got like, um, you can get the things that have the logo on there. Um, and it's, it's just kind of fun. All right. So this is really neat. The fun on wheels. And then it has the die that cuts them out. So that's cool. And the little skateboard. So I can see like you know, maybe using this set with the chicken, because you could, there's a skateboard there. And then we've got crafting with you. So that's fun. Look, it even has a cut and emboss machine. And then it even has a die. So there's a lot of stuff in the die. There's a paper cutter in there, scissors, this gets cut out, little bobbins, and you know me and my wooden bobbins. You know me and my wooden bobbers. So there's even some of those in there, a little basket. Even the wooden um, crochet round thing is in there. So super cute. Especially if you like to scrapbook. I think those are always fun. So enjoy the rhythm, brood for you, level complete. So if you know, like, somebody that loves to play games, Look how cute this is. I know my son, he, he plays games all the time and I can't even make my way across the room and he's so good at, um, I mean the room in the game. <laughs> oh, I get lost really easy in the games and he just can go like, he just, his brain works different than mine. So when it feels like game over, always choose to play again. So isn't that cool? That is so cool. So I'm assuming, is this XOXO? I don't know. I don't know what this means. I'm sure it means something. So anyway, super cute. All right, inked botanicals. So this is um, really good for, um, oh, what am I trying to say? Kind of, um, my it's go right, right under my head not shabby but like texturing right like if you just stamp a bunch and it's just like kind of I guess that is kind of shabby chic stamping but um but I love this kind of stuff so this is pretty cool so it's just got a little bit of everything and then look at that really fun ribbon there so in the moment, carried over, layering leaves. This is pretty cool. So it's got, um, you know, several leaves that you can, you know, two-step stamp them. Some fun fonts. Go-to greetings, that carried over. And then bottled happiness, we still have that. Now this is really fun because the way they've done this card the bottles are like spilling out. So see that? This is like spilling. So like the pop went, you know, the cork went pop and then the bottle is like shooting stuff out. So it's, that's really a really cool looking card. And then look at these really fun iridescent shaker circles. That's cool. Look at all those. They look like little bubbles. All right, so we still have the shaker domes. Fun, bold bouquet. So look at this fun die. Have to look at that a little better. See, look what it does here. That's super cool. It's like Christmas morning. All right, so bowl bouquet, I already said that. So we've got that. Look how pretty this, so this is that bubble gum, not bubble gum, bubble bath. I'm forever gonna call it bubble gum. That's what it makes me think of, but it's bubble bath. Wildlife wonder carried over, I love that. There's another um, kind of a scenic one. Seaside Bay, I'm not a super fan of Seaside Bay, but we can't all like the same things. I always say that life would be pretty boring if we did. Masterfully made. Look at this. Look at this paper. So this paper, like people made the paper and then it was photographed 
And then it's just gorgeous. Like, look at all that. I mean, I cannot wait to order that DSP. All right, vertical blooms, days to remember. So if you like to make your own calendars, and this is a great one for that. We have coffee with friends. We've got some cute samples over here. Look at how the two girls are in, like in the um, park or whatever. That's pretty cool. Thanks for everything. So that's kind of neat, those big solid. Botanical layers carried over. Your path awaits. Well, it will wait a long time because I'm not a fan of this one at all. So it will just stay there. <laughs> love for you love 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 so here's the turtle so this is what i was telling about where the, where you have you just flip it over and then you have it will make it um its own color so see you flip it over and so they've done that again with the enchanted butterfly so the the line is on one side you flip it over and then it's the solid and then it stamps like t you know two different ways so that's what those are. And that's what's called reversibles. Alrighty, so fresh as a daisy. You saw me um, show some of this suite when I did my pre-order. So for the cheerful daisies, the DSP and the fun bling. If you wanna know the colors that are in the um, DSP, you just look here. They're also, um, usually they're listed on the back of the white paper you know that is behind there and i just cut it into four by four and then i just punched a hole and i just put it on you know a ring so it hangs by my desk so i still have to go through that and get you know get rid of the ones that retire but that's what i usually do so i can keep track of what goes with what so beauty of the deep and and it has a um, dye that has it as well so this is kind of like a, another beachy ways of inspiration we've had for a little while and it does some really cool so look at this fun card so i'm not a big like beachy person i mean i like to go fishing which if but um but this is kind of a neat this may this card makes me think hmm i might need to get that all right then we have artistically ink so that is sticking around which i love which i need to get out more because it's just such a beautiful beautiful easy stamp set to play with prized plant softly sketched i love the way this looks even though there's a lot of um dark areas in here you know it's not truly an open line because there's like a lot of shadow and stuff i still think it will color nicely or you can just use your ink. But look how beautiful that butterfly is on there. That is gorgeous. So this is really fun. But there's that artistically inked. Love it, love it. So they're saying to get this charcoal blended look, start by stamping the image in a dark ink. Then softly blend the same ink color around the image using a blending brush. And it will give you a charcoal blended look. That's kind of neat. It almost looks like a black and white photo. All right, and that's called distinctive. So that's another kind of stamp set. All right, so around the bend, we kept that. We kept alphabest. There's stamped with love. So this one can be used for the angel policy. So angel policy basically means if you um, make something with a stamp set from the Stampin' Up, you want to make sure that you have the copyright on there so they have a whole um stamp set you just put that on the back so that way people know where the artwork came from so you can read more about that that's on page 117 explains the angel policy then we have backgrounds i love backgrounds i don't use them as much as i used to but um but they're super cute so some carried over i'm so glad I love these two, but now we've got a cute berry harvest. I will be getting that. I will be getting that. The watercolor world carried over. So did the snow crystal. And perfectly detailed was in the mini catalog, I believe. So look how cute. 
So they just colored right on this with the Stampin' Right and then stamped it right onto there. So you can do that with the Stampin' Right markers, not the blends. You don't want to be coloring on the rubber with the blends. So like I said before, that the blends will dry on pretty much everything. Remember I said that you could do that on the box, you know. Um, it will dry on your stamp too. So you don't want to color on the stamp with the blends, but you can with the Stampin' Right. And then the Stampin' Right are new. They have updated them. I showed you this when I got my um, pre-order. So we have um, new blends. So the same length, but this is a little longer, this barrel here, and the lids are a little shorter. So it will still fit in your box if you have, you know, the, the box that we used to carry. Um, though, you know, if you want to switch them out or whatever. But, so we have the um, brush tip, and it's just, it's just beautiful. I mean, so it, it looks really cool. I can see myself using these more now where I didn't use them, don't use them as much before. And then we have a new pen tip. So see that? So the pen is a lot better. So there's like color, like all up the pen, not just, not just the tip. And I think that was part of the um, issues we sometimes had with the other one because um, the ink was just coming out of the tip like a pen. So these are the new style stamp and write markers. And this is what they're, they're showing here. So these, you can color on the stamp and then you just kind of breathe on it and you can stamp. Um, but you don't do it with the blends. Okay. So if you ever have any questions at all and what I mumble and jumble about, make sure you holler at me because I want to make sure that you're using your stuff properly and you're not frustrated um, if it doesn't work right because, you know, certain things work for certain things. I love this page here because they have put like little um, punches on the ribbon as well as the color. So it just it's just visually appealing, I think. And it just, because they're on the wheels, it makes you think that they're moving along. So it's pretty cool. All right. So here's the color collection. So this is where you're gonna grab um, all your color numbers, your cardstock, your pads, your refills, your, um, your Stampin' Blends. When you buy an ink pad, always get the refill at the same time. And then that way you always have a refill for your ink pad. All right, so let's see. That's all the colors. In colors, brights, neutrals, regals, subtles, basics. All right, and then we just have um, a lot of um, storage things. We have the blending storage carried over. And this talks about the bundles. So we see the Stampin' Right markers? They come in like a flat box. They don't come in a big you know, box with a handle anymore. They just come in these um, flat kind of boxes where it holds the, um, the family. So anyways, but you can still get them all together and still save that 10%. So we have the soft pastels. We have updated our watercolor pencils in the assortment one because some of the colors that were in there before retired. So they have just um, updated it with the current colors. Alrighty. You can also get, um, you know, like the core colors. Like if you wanted to get, um, like all of them or whatever it's just easier you know you have like one number instead of going oh I want this one this this one so just make sure you check out that page that's page 125 and that's the assortment and bundles so um and then you usually save a little bit when you bundle alrighty and then here's the cute little boxes. So this is the um, the little scallop box that I showed you that had the gift card in it. So this is the one that's not quite um, available yet. So just kind of keep an eye on that. Specialty paper. So this is that really fun, um, it's like six by six, like dazzly paper. And we had it a couple years ago, or was it a year ago, um, for celebration. And now you can you can get it but it looks very similar to that. So this is where you're gonna find all that specialty paper, the foil, the gold, the shimmer, distressed, 
um, there's new luster specialty paper, textured specialty paper. Well, that's kind of cool. So anyway, so this is where you where you'll find that. And then we have DSP. All right, so this is really fun. So the this goes with the balloons, the Countryside Inn. So I haven't marked my catalog further than the the stamp set. So I have to go um, mark what I have. Um, delightfully eclectic. So this is pretty cool. It's got letters, pretzels. It's neat. So I don't know if it necessarily... Well, there's a punch that looks like this. So it must go with that. We have that Earth and Elegance. Because does this say it went with something? Oh yes, page 147, the Tiled Punch Pack. Yeah. All right, so there's the Fresh as a Daisy DSP that I showed you before. The Glorious ging Gingham. I love Gingham. You know me, I love Gingham. And this is the new um, five colors. So I kind of wish we'd have just also kept the Country Floral Gingham or whatever that we've had. But I have a lot of it, so I'll still still use it. But, um, but this is the new... Um, Well, it's just five colors. This isn't even an in-color thing. This is just some new, new colors. So that's cool. Love it, love it. Inked Botanicals. Look at this paper. It is gorgeous. And then there's that Let's Go Fishing I was talking about. And the Le Shops. And I haven't done a DSP share in a few years um just because it's a lot a lot of work and then we have the trip so a lot of times people um have already got you know because we leave in a couple weeks they've already got um their dsp by the time so i probably won't do a share this year either just because of the timing um but just make sure that you let me know like like if enough people said yeah and I don't mind waiting you know I would think about it but if I don't hear from you then I just assume you don't you're not interested but look up there's that beautiful paper that stargazing the zoo crew which I've got a few of that and then this is that in color so this is where I got the DSP for this card so see this is where I got this for that card so it's super fun so we have changed the patterns and so now we have you know that polka dot i showed you and the stripes on the one side and then there's like some f funky little hearts and then lines so we have changed that up the gold celebration looks cool vellum basics i'm glad we bring that forward it's got the lines the dots and the beautiful leaves it's really fun vellum memories and more we still have memories and more so you can see that and then I always like to make myself a note that these are note cards I have to do it each time note cards all right because these are the three and a half by five these are the regular cards so this would fit a note card compared to the medium envelopes which is what this is and this is the difference in size and I swear every year I'm always like I immediately just go here and I get this and then I get a package of note cards which is fine but not when you need this one so anyways all right so we've got perfect paper crafting and this just shows a lot of our tools and accessories um, there's some the masks I talked about the tones that I use all the time. So the tones are there. I'm trying to see if I still have, here's my little tone thing. You can get this on my blog. So I will keep it right in there. And that just helps, you know, when I'm ordering them. I know like, well, number 400 goes with this one. Number 600 goes with this one. So I don't have to always look it up. So sometimes it's here, but usually it's on my desk. So I can just refer back to it, but so there's that 
decorative masks. So it doesn't say new. So I'm assuming it's not new, but I don't remember the four square. Doesn't mean we didn't have it. All right, so there is more fun things to put on cards. Your Wink of Stella, the enamel basics. So we had those and we're, those carried over. The stays on, the memento, these little spritzers. It's really cool. What is number four? Oh, the white pad. Yeah, I love my white pad. It just makes, you know, it just it has a really fun, that white pigment ink on um, cardstock. You either can just let it air dry or emboss it. Either way, it's really impressive. All right, let me lay that flat. So here we've got our adhesives. We have quite a few adhesives. I probably use all of them. So cute. And then here's the embellishments. So here's those circles I was talking about. So their iridescent shaker circles. So you've got circles, and then those ones look like they're solid. So those are kind of neat. The little daisies have carried over. So now I need to figure out what is going to be my goodies and guts for May and what will be my goodie because now we have all sorts of new things. Mm -hmm -hmm. In color pearls. Those are cool. And these little eggs are kind of neat too. Opaque ovals. In color dots, those look neat. Ooh, so do the ombre matte decorative dots. I love embellishments. I love, love embellishments. So, and then some stuff did carry over, which I'm glad, like the iridescent pearl basic. I love those. The flat adhesive back pearls. So those were in the mini catalog. So they did carry forward our butterflies. I love that. Oh, cool. The iridescent pastel gems did as well. Um, what else here? Rustic, metallic, those did, and those are fun. Classic matte dots. Are, I think those are the ones that I liked. So we have a lot of fun bling. And then the ribbon, we're, so we're almost done. So the black and white carried over, which I'm so glad about. The balmy and blue we had for a while, so that carried over. And you've seen some of this because I was allowed to pre-order some of it. I'm glad the pool party did because I really love that girl green. It's such a pretty, pretty ribbon. Ties beautifully. So here's some more. So there's a Lost Lagoon. I think that was what I was looking at on that one page. Here's that ribbon duo I have used right here. It's so cute. So this is some natural wavy trim. So this one kind of makes me think of the 50s or the 60s. Like you might make a plant basket or something. Ooh, we have some in color baker's twine. That's neat. So look, I love how they've wrapped it all up together. So it totally looks different than just if they'd have just put the spool there. All right. Also, I believe that the take your pick crafter tips, you can put the number in and if it's not available, it'll come up and tell you. Um, but I want to say that I didn't think that crafter tips were going to be available. Um, but just, just put the code in. That's really the only way to know. That's the only way, way I know as well um, if things are, are available or not. Um, also, I don't know if you realized or not, but you can get the metric blade so depending on where you live you might um, measure in metric um, so you can just get a metric one and then just switch out the, the inch inch one on your trimmer all right so let's see so this is punches we have um, so there's that two and three eight that I used yesterday and then these are those punches that are really fun looking our monkey punch and then um, you know, we had some punches carry over. So we had 
quite a few punches. The Easter Bunny's in there, so if you did miss the Easter Bunny, he's in there. Same with the Country Bouquet I talked about. I think that was the only two that people were having issues finding, if I'm not mistaken. So very fun. And then it talks about, you know, the cleaner, all that fun stuff. So this is this stuff isn't new. This has been around a while. But this is where you'll find your blocks. Your little scrub pad that I use all the time off camera. <laughs> and our machines. We have a big machine, the little machine, and then the dies and all that or the plates and stuff. So that's where you're gonna find that. And then we go to the dies. So I haven't marked this either. I need to um, still pull out retired stuff. I'll be um, announcing my retired stuff um, probably after the trip, um, just because I have a lot of stuff to do before then. But these are the dies, so you can see um, some things are bundled, and then some dies stand alone. So these are all um, the new new dies and new bundles. There's that fun gone fishing one. I gotta show Jeff that. He's going to be like, you got to get that one. This is cool, gorgeous made. And look at it. It has that really neat, um, it looks like you ripped the paper out of like um, a notebook. That is super cool. So this goes that, with that amazing DSP I was talking about. So this is definitely going to be purchased right away there's the shopping one and hey chuck lazy days i have that one so i could mark that one where's my green marker because i know i have lazy days i know i have that one all right so there is that so super cute reach for the stars so there's that really fun one with the astronaut and i'm not a big nasa person but i'll probably get that because it's just so cool i love the paper and it would go with that scientist right you could do like a whole big bang theory theme all right so we have the zany zoo i know i have but look how cool this is detailed die cuts i just love how it it's like tone on tone and it shows you the bikes so that's super cool right so then these are the dies that's um that stand alone or were possibly bundled before because remember i told you that when something is brand new it's bundled but then when it carries over to the next catalog you lose the bundle price so that's why i'm always like saying when it's bundled you know grab it when you can um so like this one went with that perch perch in the tree you know um but now you don't save on save with the bundle so it's still, you know, you want them together, but still. So anyway, so I'm glad to see some of my favorites still here. Brilliant backgrounds. So that's that one that did those. Let's see page 92. Is that the one that I was showing you? And I was like, how did they do that? Let's see. Let's see. Nope. Nope something else all right keep going keep going so our legendary metal lighting the way so these were in the holiday catalog so now they're in here i'm glad we kept give it a whirl maybe eventually i'll actually use it like it's supposed to instead of just the clouds i am getting these so bad so bad these are so cool i love anything with stitches and here's that patchwork pieces that I was showing you. Look at how cool it is. Oh my gosh. So playing in the rain. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Remember that red and yellow? 99. 99. Remember this? Or it was yellow and white. Remember this right here? And I was like, how did they do that? So here it is. It's two pieces. So you've got like a solid. And then you have like an overlay. So see right here? Isn't that cool? So I'll be getting that too. So anyway, so these are the standalone die. There's your sherry milkshake. Wanted to say feel better soon. I love when they have the 
the the greeting that you can read and then they have the background that it looks like you cut it out I love when we do that so we have a few more hybrids so I cut uh, that is so fun because you have it cuts and embosses so you have like the tree wing so we had that for a while and then the citrus we've had just for a short while so we have them both so once you um, you can put the the die right in the folder so it cuts and embosses at the same time it's like stinking cute it is like the first time you do it it's kind of scary because you think oh my gosh am I supposed to be doing this so just read the directions but it's super cool and then we have some beautiful folders so where is that one I was looking at where is that one or oh, here 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 geometric patterns so this is the one I was looking at and I thought it was like a tire track or something so they just use partial of it so that's super cool and the metal plate I'm glad we kept painted textures that's my go-to I always like that I love the stripes and the splatters we still have the raindrops the timber very cool so here's that exposed brick so we got rid of the brick and mortar and now we have this new one here so that's pretty cool and look at we have doilies that's the high oh that's a hybrid too so you're going to make a doily <gasps> that is so cool that, oh and now we're going to the end so we have new hostess we've got this really fun um like kind of sitting on the the deck or whatever and then a moth and then it just this is your index so it kind of helps you you want to find things and then your stamping decks which is nice two pages and that is the end of the catalog all right so let me say hang on a minute let me scoot down see you later alligator um, so that was a little long sorry but are you so excited for the catalog oh my gosh I am I am so um so yeah, so it was kind of neat that now you can see where that card came from that I did yesterday. <laughs> All right, so I will be working on my goodies and guts for the month of May. And I will be getting out that um, Hey Chuck class in the mail sign up very soon. So don't miss out on that. And I think that's all I want to blab about. If you have any questions at all, make sure you reach out um, and uh, so I can answer you. So if you um, have any questions, otherwise, I will see you Friday for my dies shorts. That will be at three o'clock Arizona time, same time, same channel. If I get my button gear, um, I will have my goodies and guts to show that day. All right. So just keep on me make sure i get it done <laughs> so um i'll say see you later have a great night and i will see you friday happy shopping <laughs> bye for now